Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Age of Empires 3 replay, or not 3, 2. It's on bottom right side as the yes. green the Slaws with Archeonano. It's on the bottom right side as the blue Mullions. We have Mate Amigo. And spawn as the red. Nope, that's his uh, enemy. Spawn as the Cyan Georgians. We have El Doni Soli. And spawn as the gray Bulgarians. We have Massacre. Spawn as the opponent as the red Bulgarians. We have Gran Agula. Spawn as the yellow Turks. We have I Break 7. Spawn as the magenta or pink Persians. We have Theovalo. And spawns the orange the Portuguese. We have Ashvini. This replay was submitted to me by one of these players. Let me check the person's name. And it is a 4v4, so the squad can be a whole lot of chaos. Uh, let's take this book book down. Infantry Slaws, of course, Infantry and Siege. They have the Splash Damage Infantry units as a specialty. Uh, as blue. Of course, we got the Mullions here. Infantry Zillusion can also get capped with plus 5 attack. In which, uh. Eric Sink is pulled some Pierce Armor. Fun is the Cyan. For the Georgians, they are, of course, the defense and capital civilization. Starts with Mio Park. Fortified churches provide villagers an 8 tile radius of war increased work rate. Well, I best go for. It is Arena Map, so maybe good idea for him to boom and go to Fast Castle. And let's see, gray. We got the Bulgarians. Of course, they have the free militia line, if dream cavalry civilization. And of course, you got the conic, a very stubborn if uh, unit. So yeah, maybe some infantry play there. Portuguese, of course, uh, they have the cheaper gold cost units. They also have the Federitas, which can be very useful in a arena style map. Yeah, probably go for fast, at least some sort of fast castle for him. It's hard to say what each player would do. Some players would be aggressive, which is probably going to have to keep an eye on all the units. Ink is Persians, their capital civilization, start additional food and wood, increase hit points, Parthian tactics available in Castle Age. I don't remember that one uh, being a civilization buff. So earlier, uh, Parthian Tactics, they can also get fully upgraded Cavalry Archers, which could be quite useful. Additionally, let's see, Archer Line costs of additional wood. So you get a uh, dirt cheap cross, or you get trash crossbowmen, which is pretty nice. Castles fire bullets. Oh yeah, they get really nice castles. You get plus three attack, or plus four attack, plus three damage versus rams, and plus three versus infantry. And they take less damage. So they have a multiple of different things they go for. Yellow is on an Xbox player. Don't know if that will change anything. They're Turk. Gunpowder units have increased hit points. Gold miners work 10, uh, tw uh, 20 percent faster. Also get the light, definitely a free scout line upgrades. Orange is pinged here. Red scout is trying to chase the yellow scout, but they're, they're teammates, so they don't really need to chase them. I wonder if both of them have auto scout turned on, because they're taking the exact same path. Uh, does red have his uh, cavalry on follow stance on yellows? Weird. Every player aged on up. So you've got some farms there, farms there. I'm trying to see if there's any military action. Some people advancing next uh, age. I don't see anything that would suggest that they are being anybody's being aggressive at the moment. So let's fast forward a little bit since there's the eco phase. Both got scouts engaging. Red is pinged here. Orange is pinged here. So team south side. Oh, orange is now advancing some villagers. Anything? So now we got some aggression. Let's see, got a castle drop. He is the Portuguese player. 
Let's have orange selected then. Not buddy up against the walls, which may be a good or bad thing. Red ping there. That's his teammate pinging him. Magenta has a scout here as well as Orange's own scout. Portuguese does have access to organ guns, so I feel he's going to try to pull out some organ guns. After all, who doesn't want to see a pile of organs on the ground? Gray's Spearman will not be able to do much in this situation. He's going to try to steal some of his bonus gold. Very nice. Now they're going to try to hack apart this gate. First organ gun up in front of the field. I wonder if in the second town center. Not yet. He's collecting more stone. That could be for second town center or maybe more, more castles. We got now a crate post going up. The Bulgarians are pretty good defense civilization with the mini castles. We got two orange guns. Uh, really missing that pillager. Really missing that pillager. We finally got him. Now we do have the Kratos here. He does get one of the orange guns going down. Wall has gone down. It looks like he's trying to hit those orange guns with the Kratos. He does also have fletching there, so he has increased defense capability. Machita does have some scouts here. Do I see any more aggression on the map? Doesn't appear to be. Orn guns and Nazik are the greatest anti structure tool. Another round of defensive walls going on up. <laughs> Got a decent amount of orange guns in the field. Orange, could I? Oh, he's not See? currently fucking up gold. He needs to fix that. He could eye for a battery ram or two to help engage this stuff here. Oh, super sport. Magnal looking some themes there. Orange selling the back on off. See? There's Petard. Petard has got severe damage there. And Pink's right now just not really pace, paying close enough attention. Orgon's trying to hit that orc uh, wall segment, and the bolts are scattering pretty wide there. Even getting some hits. I'm pretty sure those I'm are just straight up misses. Me, they both have some range, so whatever Magnal gets in range, that's actual range of the Orgon guns. Ooh, good volley in the villagers. So <laughs> I really love how the organ gun's actually splashing and hitting that uh Maganel. Which has quite a bit of infrastructure out here. Let's see. No additional oh no, we do have additional town center here. Uh we've got a cray post here. Oh, there's two Bulgarians. How did I not see those fact those two Bulgarians? I've got two Cray posts. Got two town centers. Got triple town center. Got triple town center. Triple town center. We do actually have two town centers here. Oh, so they, have, uh, they have four pierce armor, which is good, but not en good enough. Now we've got a blue castle here. Red may be under threat relatively soon. A bit more fire there onto the blacksmith. It looks like Cray's house here is almost down. More village in the build queue for orange. And somehow there's unclaimed relics in the map. Not, nobody's trying to get those relics. I 
And now I've got another castle trying to be built. And this may be in range of the prey post. It is in range of the prey post. Maganello gets a good follow there. See. Takes on organ gun. Organ gun. Getting some damage there. Good volley there. Takes out a good number of organ guns. Maganello has gone down. We still only see plus one range here for gray. Yellow has a handful of Janissaries Emmet. here to support out red. Very good. Blue has a keep here, garrisoned up with something. Let's take a look at blue. What are you garrisoned up with? A single Gabato. Is that Gabato? I think it's a Gabato. Uh, yeah, Gabato. Let's see, what is Gray doing for defense? Oh, players are coming. Cast Wage. Nobody's advanced on Feral Age just yet. He is going for some batting rams. Very good. Though he does have filters here to shank those batting rams. If he deletes some of these wall segments, he's able to get a better angle to the castle. Delete that. Wanna work fine. <coughs> uh, my apologies. At least that one wall segment there. Very good. Knights are going to advance, however. Duh. This one is garrison with some villagers. That's a little bit bold. I got to send some spearmen. Spearmen is actually, I think, a pretty good item to uh, garrison batting rams with. After all, then they can pop out and hit the knights that are currently advancing. Because on you. And those villagers are getting gunned down there. Uh, I suppose we can take a look at villagers. Red has the least amount of villagers. Actually, no, orange does, which makes sense. Orange has been aggressive. Only one town center, but red... Red has not that many villagers as well, and he has two town centers, so he may have been failing to reduce villagers. No, he has three town centers, so he should be fine in the villager count. Green has 103. Gray has 43, which makes sense. He's been under threat. And did lose some, but I think he could have more right now. He should have more, at least orange. He's investing quite a bit into this uh, aggression. This house has gone down, so now there's an opening there, but you do have to brave the fire of the Cray Post. More Cray Post being pulled by Ray. The tower does connect. And it does break on through with the knights. It does. I think it won the converted there. Yeah, one knight that converted. Which way forward. Nice Maganel shot there. Maganel does go down there. Cray Post should be built. And I have some spear mixed on in as well. Halvadiers probably wouldn't be half bad to get. You can get four pikemen. You can also get all of the Halvadiers as Bulgarians. Now we got a number of conic here. And now we got seeing some pure age. Blue has advanced pure age. Yellow, red, and orange. Orange is a Portuguese player. He could have some uh, Federitas. He's low in villager count. Pretty far behind. He's actually just straight up not building anymore, is has he? Uh, villagers are idle or in the queue. Oh, I can see Aton up. It may be good in order to get his villager count up, quote unquote villager count up, he could eye for a Federita or two. Though this plan of the map is not exactly efficient, resource efficient. Got Monsapa now advanced way four, rips apart that trebuchet. The other trebuchets here, or just villagers make it rip apart as well. He does not have many. Does he have murder holes? No, he does not. Dismount these monster apart and I'll pull on the field. Ooh. 
outpost now built so we can see a little bit farther. His teammate has some knights here. Uh, ping down here. Looks like I got a soul. Blues makes way forward to this gate. He's going to batter it down. We got X in the Marconic here. He has no blacksmith uh, melee damage, which may be an oversight. That affects both the Ghost Rush and Conix. Janissary is now firing away. Gutting down, overkilling significant amount of the uh, single pikemen. May need to get two control groups of that. Cavalier is now pushed way forward. Green has gun over pikemen to support him out. Red destroys some walls there to gauge the cavaliers. Now he's getting hit by those halberdiers who cause some issues. The dismounts will be decent. He can just let the dismounts fight away. Cavalier is not pushed way forward. And overall, the red is getting overwhelmed. He's getting double teamed. Genesis is now rotating on in. Trip Street said Fancy Bay 4. Got some housing here. Genesis gunning down a good number of these Cavaliers. They offer really good damage. Pikeman for Trip Ford. Red does have a critical seat of helping gauge these Pikeman. Or Halberdiers. Now we're getting the metal mix up. We got some Camaraders now mixed on in as well. Red's town, primary town center does go down. Blue and green are now streaming the red space. Red never really had a massive number of villagers. And so his economy is not as robust. He's trying to go for another prey post. I wonder if red has murder holes. That may be used for the moment. He does not have murder holes. And he's got that cray post built. I think Red is basically knocked out of the game. He's uh, evacuating some of his villagers. Camels will run the Janissaries. Right now, Red and Yellow Pony got some pikemen. Though Perks can't get pikemen, they can only get the uh, spearmen. Even that will be useful. Green is pushing forth a good number of units. Hopefully that's arson. And got a very large number of these light cavalry or huzzars inside of the Krapos. Magenta is breaking up through. Orange did lose a castle there, but looks like Gray is gutted. Gray is probably knocked out of the game. I see some gray see? stuff over here. There's a gray house. Why is there? Why are there gray houses there? There's a gray cray post here, but looks like he's gonna get hacked apart. No. He is like a uh, cyan, not supporting him enough. I don't think cyan really did much. He's pushing four of trebuchets. Food, please. Wood, please. Gray needs some resources, looks like. He says two villagers. He has one villager at the moment. So it's going to take a bit of time to get back in the game, if he can. Baby camels trade forward. Now we got the Huzzars falling back. A big wave of spearmen for how this was before. Has some heavy the armed boyards behind them as well. Two hours to die like this. Camels having trouble pushing with four. Got a nice short point there. Great for Janissaries. Boyards start slamming way through, and now the cavalry as well. Looks like Team Green are pushing through the yellow's wall. Red is pretty good, so yellow has to fight 2 to 1. Now we've got some red twin horsemen. They should be decent versus the camel riders, as well as the light cavalry. Dancer is being well micro. And the gate has been held open. 
It's probably best spot. He needs to perhaps hold this choke point in order so he, they don't get a full surround. Of oh, in melee combo is not great, but it's better than what the alternative is. Magenta's cavalry push right forward. A ripping part of the science siege. I'm not sure where science cavalry went. There they are. Very opposition. So Magenta has a very good counterattack on the Scion. Yes, these number of this elite Monsa Pasa. I don't know what their uniqueness is. On horses, it's not exactly unique. Now science coming in. We got now we got the oh, we got the unique uh, upgrade for the cavalier, the saver. Cavalry is fighting against cavalry. Looks like Cyan. Uh, I can't tell who's winning. We've got more reinforcements on both sides. Yeah, looks like Cyan does win out. He has to put out his unique Paladin variant. Orange is going for some castles and other stuff here. Green slowly trying to pick his way forward. Green and blue making the way another fast forward. Got a number of Chanisaries back here. I come in. We're across on Yellow's Cavalry. How's Red doing? He is trying to rebuild, but sneakily. Yellow's going to fight a 2v1 for now. And he does not really have a good trash composition. Only decent trash that he can put on the field is, of course, the Huzzards. So he's doing great work with these Shannon series. That's true. They already need Shannon series. As more castles for a I think it'd be a good idea to get out that. Un oh, no, it's Persian for that unique castle pack. Let's get the Persians, the Turks mixed up. He could try locking the gate so you can make sure he doesn't go too far forward. Now, Blue's Cow is just getting ripped apart by the firing squad. Got more of the salvers of Bowden Field, as well as a good number of these elite mons of a mana spa. I don't know who wins between the Food two. Food wood, please. Gray's actually for food and wood. He has 14 villagers. He's the only one still in Castle Age. Got squires and arson fingers. Just going to get some halberdiers and. So it's trying to try to make some more of a counter unit along this composition. We got Arbos to do. They have seven reigns. I don't know if we get out the uh, body from the arrow. Even then, they'll be still the same range in Janus series. A body from the arrow. Uh, Bracer. He cannot. He won't get body from the arrow. Does come down all those Arbos. Janus series, of course, a very nice unit. Right now, the elite mode mana spa packing up, backing off. Got a good number of orange, orange guns here. Does find the mule cart there. Does take it out. He's trying to steal some of his teammates or oh, gold, I guess. C12 truck going up by gray. These guys have four range armor. Maybe Cavalry Arch was the way to go? Or Gray? Yeah, it's just focus on economy. That's probably what he should do. We've got more Janusaries firing away. Gains a good damage. That was being very cost effective. What has Green been doing? He's putting more Siege War Shops. See, well, Blue you is dying. Not a lot of Green units dying. Now, Magenta's coming for a nice flank here to engage all these units. There's Grace Town Center. Getting out more universities, getting out more of that stuff. Four guns firing away against these stuff. Right, now push right forward with some villagers. I think he's trying to sneak into his opponent's 
base. I'm not sure what Red is trying to do with these villagers. He is trying to get into his opponent's base. He does have a town center back here, slowly trying to get his wealth back in game. Has another town center back here, getting some farms up and going. E5, I guess that's uh, green. Asking, let's go. More Boyars straight forward. More Hazars, more Arvos not being pulled in view. Got some green villagers here getting hit as well. Orange is still on 47 villagers. I wonder if he has any Federitas. I want to take a look for that. But yellow's Hazar's before. four. Blue has a good number of light calories trying to engage them, as well as a big round of the heavy cameras. Savaza advancing way forward. I you pronounce Savar? Savar? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Moving around. Orange. Does have at least one Federita on the field. Bray has pings right here. Telling his opponent or teammate he has a cavalry boy idol. Blue is pinged here. Another castle goes on down. Light cavalry move around. Let's take out that one unit. Cam Riders charging me forward. What has Green been doing? I'm curious. He's on the top of the scoreboard. Got some help with the ears. He's going for math. He has a production queue going on up. He has a massive float of food. All things straight forward. Not sure if Team Northside has established any sort of trade. Doesn't look like I have any size of well trade. Here's where he's firing away. Champions push way forward. Marvel is trying to engage. Bray is begging for more resources. Transfer is pushed way forward. We got now the light cavalry advancing. Green does have safe amount of force there. Going for a large amount of boyars, but the boyars are in one production queue, looks like. Janissary is still here in pretty good numbers. I just really wish a single monk was there to heal them up. Light Cavalry advance way forward. We've been on the champions advancing. A couple more trebuchet start shots there. Now Matrix is producing some pike men. Oh, here we got Pikeman versus or Halberdier versus Halberdier. More Halberdiers here. Science Cavalry's advancing. Uh, got. Those look there's a pack for Science Advance into Orange's base. I see some holes. Uh, there's actually more holes, another hole over there. He has a good number of Orange guns, but Science Cavalry's pushing way forward. Got double Federated up on a few. Just trying to be economical. Let's go down. Champions push right forward. Orm guns in pursuit. He may take out some villagers. Does he got a number of villagers? These guys are taking a significant amount of fire. They have a decent amount of armor, though. Powders or heavy camels trying to push right forward. Janissary is still being microed very well. Some blues infrastructure sort of going on down. 
I wonder how well Red has started to recover. He's on the bottom of the score, which is not great. Gray has covered. Oh, they're splitting up top and bottom side as the scores is. Gray's at the bottom. Red and orange are both not great at the moment. The cavalry is slowly being gunned down by the old orange guns. I go for market there. He wall he trapped his opponent. Very good. And it looks like all the science units will go down there. Green has talents out here, trying to claim some of his teammates' gold. Gray is cleaning up that gold. We got some trade going up by Gray as well. There's a handful of golds on the field, as well as plenty of stone. I'm not sure what that yellow looks like, but there's some scattered stone deposits here and there. A bit of gold here, and a bit of gold being cut down south. We're trying to go for our castle here. Red has not gotten, gotten flushing just yet, which could be useful help without his keep. Like Cali trying to hit some red villagers. Those villagers are not expendable. Red it doesn't have many villagers. Janitor is firing away, gains 50 damage. Red Halvadir is now made to close on the flank. Red destroys a whole bunch of his own wall segments. That may have been a misclick. I don't think he meant to destroy all of those. And Red is pulling together a decent army. I see a... What's it called? A trade there. So it looks like I've got a bit of trade going. I wonder how much trade is in the back of this. Yeah, I'm trying to click on a select trader, the right trader color. Don't worry about that later. Yellow's got light cavalry, Hazard's pretty forward. He needs these damage pike them in as well. A number of skirmishers firing away. Janissary is getting a little bit distracted from those structures. Green Ensign has a decent Flash armor there. Magenta, not so much. Sign tried to push forward to his opponent's uh, base again, but he's going through a maze and a gauntlet. Got double Federita for Orange. That may be all he should build. Bill's just going to try to stay in the fight, which is not great. Orange has 43 villagers, he needs to have more. Magenta only has 68. But maybe one reason why he's having a slow time recovering. He's got some more traders, perhaps. Looks like Team North or South Side just does not have traders in the field. And Orange is having trouble maintaining. Orange guns are nice and all, but they will have trouble versus cavalry. He needs some pike in the uh or how many to close up a choke. Gray is starting to spoil out some long swordsmen. And it looks like orange and pink are starting to crumple. Yellow's doing just fine. Red has recovered by sniffing them out. So pikemen are so just pikemen, but still nice to see him recovering and actually assisting his teammate quite nicely. Him just getting a whole bunch of cannon or front line there to help out his teammate's Janissary is actually a pretty good uh, compliment. Additionally, since he can't pull out spearmen, or well, he can't pull out pikemen, go and get spearmen, these will help provide his uh, teammate an excellent count, uh, counter unit. In which got a number of halberdiers on straight forward. Janissary is really close apart. Got some orange halberdiers for straight forward as well as magenta halberdiers. Got another skirmish here, more pikemen followed by magenta. 
Flushing he does have access to uh, a trash crossbow unit, so maybe we gotta either get those guys out if he's trying to go for trash. It looks like the trade cards are providing 80 gold. Orange going for another castle now. Magenta's not straight forward. There may be murder holes available to do Cyan. Not sure. Cyan's not researched murder holes. So slowly but surely, those pikemen will, or halberdiers will destroy it. And now some of these can gunned down by uh, the organ guns. But here comes the Hazars. Oh, and there's a Janissary. He's found a pretty good spot to fire from. He's behind a bit of stone there, so it's a good natural protection. Now Janissary is trying to move forward, firing at everything. As long as it's not overkilling stuff, that's generally fine, so the sporadic fire is maybe a good, a good thing. Oh, he is a good thing. And his teammates, halberdiers, are providing some excellent cover. Azara's not to four, got another camels there as well. Got some Hazars there. Now we got some uh, green barracks something to put out there. If we're able to support out his team a little bit better, he could try going for some battery rams, help people with structures. They're much cheaper than going for trebuchets. Yellow does have another number of trebuchets here. Ray is still in Castle A. She's the only one who's not aged on up. And Grey right now does have 108 villagers. He actually has the third highest villagers tied at the second. Boy, these trucks are starting to go on down, up north. Just Halvier versus Skirmisher. Trash fights. And it looks like Orange pushing forward some Trebuchet's teammates using uh, Pikemen to protect them. Very good. Get you arse. Did you just say get your ass? Arse. Champions being quite a few. Ray has now entered a Imperial Age, so everybody's now in Imperial Age. Answer is straight forward, more how we're streaming on him. Scorpion does go down there. Got some more of these Hussars trying to hit those skirmishers. Very good. Up here, got the pikemen engaging skirmishers. And looks like Science Cali has overrun its uh, oranges trebuchets. phase. Red's fans way forward with his uh, halberdiers. We got some forward infrastructure being pulled up by Red. Very nice. On the field right now, they do have seven range but they still out get outranged by the Janissaries, even though they're technically a counter unit. The north side's been, of course, maintaining trade cards. I don't think Team South Side has got any trade, and now maybe it's safe for trade to be established from here to Orange's base. Orange has a cast going on up. Oh, 
Okay, so there's before to get some structures there. He has a good number of Hazars here. Now I've got some siege rams up for me for the green. That helps clean up some of this infrastructure. Looking at that market there. One of science traders does go down there. Maganel gets an excellent hit there, but does get cleaned up by his Hazars. And now Red's trying to go for a forward key or a castle, which I'm sort of surprised he didn't go for Kratos. Hopefully he has at least fletching. And he got a little bit extra range and damage, always quite nice. If he has access to, uh, what's I call it, uh, ballistics, that can also go a long way as well. He does not have ballistics. He does not have uh, fletching. So it's going to be a very bare bones castle. But he can start pulling out some conic. Green says just run. Oh, I did the old number halberdiers right there. I wonder how many uh, villagers blue lost. Blue sound of 56 villagers. He's having to, blue's trying to get overran. Overall, red did all the carrying there, but red or yellow did all the carrying, but red provided excellent support. So yellow couldn't carry without red support. Sea trans, push right forward. You can fire from multiple organ guns. Got a good number of two in stores from Flood like Gray. Red is pinged here. I'm not sure what. It's called the Sea Trams. Azar is trying to clean that up. Sign says help blue. Oh, I'm throwing at the Gray. You can't really pull back these units. They're way too deep and they're too slow. So it's reinforcement have to do for that. And now he's gazing a handful of these Savars. Another Halberdier is pulling on both sides. So the Halberdier 2 in source he should be pretty effective because Halberdier's force count of Savars and his opponent's Halberdiers are not going to be generally useful. More guns trying to get overran here. More wood can put up there. We've got the scrum first to three forward. Red has a decent number of tuning swords to help out his teammate as well. Very nice. Got uh, gray streams of force up here. Red's ping a bit of everything. All the farms are gone. I wonder if they got deleted. Red is trying to steal his. Oh, I think uh, the dude deleted the farms thinking Red's going to steal them. By the way, that appears what have happened. We don't see trade going off the south side. Team north side's been having trade. Team south side appears to have no trade. Uh, yellow has all the relics. That's probably one reason why yellow's doing quite well. He has plenty of gold income, or I can't pay gold income to support all the Janissaries. Hazars are pretty four. Plus, his Hazars are pretty nice Hazars to get, what, plus one, plus two face armor. Red's not pushing forward some twin swordsmen. Gray has a decent army of halberdiers, foreign guns. This is probably one of the few fights that they can have more skills than but they're not even few uh, foreign guns at the moment. Cyan is trying to assist the south side blue, is pretty much gutted. Blue has 45 villagers, so he can still recover. We got a number of conics supported by red, they're not easy conic. But this situation, they're very uh, stubborn, should be excellent for these pikemen, and the pikemen skirmishers. And of course, they have the dismantle form to help deal with the halberdiers. Big round of two-hand swords and push right forward over oh, here. Got the two-hand swords and advancing. Magenta has quite a bit of infrastructure here. Magenta's trying to get overran. See. Orange really needs to get out the organ guns since he's been going with mass organ guns. 
Oh, so did you put waste out of the as well, I think. He has nothing in production queue at the moment, so I'm not sure what Orange is doing. He has some resource stock out of, but not a whole lot of gold. You may want to sell off about 3,000 wood to get that gold going. Green says he needs science unique units. Red's twin swordsman rotating around. Got a green castle here. Boy, this map is just lagging up. I think that's because of the 4v4. This game engine can't really handle this game. I'm not dropping any frames and recording and live streaming, so it's just straight up the engine can't handle all this. He's gonna gain some damage. Wanna fall back there. Red has been number two in swordsman coming for the cutoff. We got a great castle here. Some green spirits going down. Red has some idle units here. Still no EV conic, just red conic. Or on point some more stuff up here. Janissaries around at the months of uh, advancing. Now here they come, but they're coming in a little bit piecemeal, and his teammates to source more engaging. That will give y'all a lot more breathing room to gun down the cavalry at range. I don't think that cavalry would be all too well against these twin swordsmen. Janissary is getting some excellent damage there, and Janissary is so far being untouched. Science Cavalry has got cleaned on up. Got a lot of instructions sent to the map. Oh, so he's using his three four, got some four yards here. Blue and green start his way up here. Yellow space is now in the Threat. This is probably the first time he's actually been under somewhat of a uh, serious threat. Red has some traders here. Don't know how much they're providing. Probably not a significant amount. Yeah, that's probably uh, uh, five. Oh, if this isn't 59, this is 44. That's probably 15. Five. That's even worse. From the board, the Hazars truly will deal with them, however, opposing the Hazars in the back line as well. Up here, Red's just report with the number of Halberdiers. Doing the source of speed. Problem to fight. Skirmish from the Yellow, how many? Yellow's on the 75 filters. He will need to get some of that rebuild. We got some Gabedo here, engage some of these villagers. Hazara is going to get ripped apart. Yellow space, they're just streaming into the yellow space, it's not great. If they can just close up a little hole there, it'll go a long way. Red's trying to go for a key castle here to help protect his teammate. Also, rolling some other stuff here. Yellow has a Hazard now blocking a hole that should stop the uh, reinforcement stream on in, allowing Yellow some time to regroup. He's down to 59 villagers. Red's not pushing me forward. Bray's uh, score has really spiked up. 
So it's almost perked. He's now well above orange and red rather than being equal. Green says use. Maybe there's something. There's a group up. Looks like the hole has been reopened. Castle still being built here. Green source engaging all the skirmishers. The skirmishers should do just fine. It looks like they have all the blacksmith research as well. He yells on the 52 villagers. He does have a number of town centers to use. We can just now bring in some pikemen or halberdiers. He has bring back to Chancellor. He's got a gray castle here that's not interrupted. And now we've got some red knights on the field. He can't go what to Paladin. No, just cavalier, but he does get some good cavaliers. As well as unique tech stirrups give an increased attack speed. While Hazar's there, he has finally patched that hole up. There's some other wounded walls he may want to kind of just repair up. Now he's finally gone for trash crossbowmen. I think it's been about time. He has no range armor in him just yet. Got some puzzles there. Chancellor is completely forward. We got some town centers in the center of the map. But I guess that's where you back right after the loss of the computer. Oh yeah, gray also has no higher score than blue. Got double layer walls there. Orange has been slowly creeping his way forward. Has he gone for a third Federita? He has gone for a third Federita. I don't think he should go for any more. He's got quite a bit of stone there, so he's able to put some keeps. And Portuguese are not half bad civilization to go for bombard towers. Cavalry are not being researched by red, though that stable may go down. Yeah, we'll go down before Cavalier gets researched. More of his horsemen on the way. Light Cavalier charge me forward and find villagers. This is where a good chunk, chunk of blue villagers are looking at. He has currently 64 villagers. Not the least worse. Now he has the worst. At 57. Yellow has gone to 65. Green says use. I'm not sure of what. Flashing the slip. Red is pinged here. There's gotten a good number of halberds just push me forward, slowly killing off some villagers. If you make a sense of those hazards down there, they'll be just fine. Halberds and two and swords and push me forward or backwards. They're champions. A handful of Gabados still here. Not upgraded. No, get ripped apart. Red's going for a massive number of pikemen. Red to keep now in the fire from the trebuchet. Another unit's going straight forward. Veterans now engaging this castle now. Two swords and, and halberdiers advancing. Orange has a number of halberdiers now engaging. I wonder if you ever got the elite war gun research. But these halberdiers will not last all too long. Orange does have a backline key, so he has some stuff to work with back here. Let's take a look at Orange. He's going for a mix of everything. He still has plenty of wood and food. He should have... If he should, if he needs something, he should spam out something. Would it be skirmishers or pikemen or hazards? He has plenty of wood. He should stop collecting wood. 23 villagers on wood. He has two-thirds of his villagers doing something worthless. He has enough wood for the rest of the game. 
some of the batting ramps engaging in the garrison. Organ gun is taking some damage there. Still no in the organ gun. That was before. forward. Azora is now pushing forward. This town is almost destroyed, so you perhaps quickly destroy that. Eric's taking severe damage from the uh, Janissaries. Now all these blows are getting inside of the town center as well. Luke could be knocked out with that fight, or but he does have good more towns in the center. More of the two sources to record, a number of pikemen here. And now we got these sea trams breaking through everything. Sea trams are pretty nice. Uh somebody sent somebody 3,000 food. I think the Portuguese player just sent a magenta 3,000 food. You know he needs that food. There must be some sort of a uh, call, I'm guessing. The source is his way forward. And it looks like this town does not go down. Orange is now down to 30 villagers, blue is down to 35. They're trying to finish off blue. Who has a handful of pike in there, but it looks like there's also an opening there. Those mullions, if it was a slot, that would, those pikemen would do excellent work. Or just being gutted, battery rams, or just ripping apart everything. Unfortunately, swordsmen engage in those pike men, or skirmishers. Yeah, I think Orange made the first one to be knocked out of the game. The blue is pretty close. He does, like I said, have towns in the center. Yeah, let's try and clean up this infrastructure. A couple battery rams can do some good work over that. After all, look at uh, Gray. He is just tripping through, through Orange's base with these battery rams. Now some Federitos gonna go down. Oh yeah, and Orange also have pop cap. So yeah, Orange is out of the game. He, I don't think he's gonna try to take time to run away with his villagers. So overall, I'll say Orange had a great start, a very good aggressive start, but he really faltered due to bad decision making. Bray has recovered a sniffing mount. He's actually a uh, decent participant member to knock out uh, Orange. Pretty much by himself. Blue is probably getting knocked on out. He's uh, Blue's down to 20 villagers. Uh, there's a mill there. I thought there was a town center there. Let's be going crazy. Eichmann, push away forward to his swordsman. Raiden right now has 65 villages, not really, uh... Orange is actually taking time to research Cavalier for some odd reason. What do you, that Orange can do to get back in the game is go to Federita. Because at least get an immediate spike through his economy. And he has enough stone for it. Almost enough stone for two.
Yeah, I was trying to clean up all this infrastructure in the center. And all the fitting regions are down. But he is building some stuff. Has uh, some cavalier stored on up. Cat C trans on breaking on out. Same thing with Magenta here. Magenta had a great start though, the Salvars. But then he just faltered. And I think he really should have gone for Trash Crossbow much, much sooner than trying to rely solely on Pikemen. Trash Crossbow are like, are nice to have. Especially when they're fighting quite a bit of the trash against themselves. Pikemen or Hussein Hazard, regular Hazard's block. Now engaging with Gray, but Gray has been in the same way. Two sorts of all freedom for anti trash units. down here and we've got some orange cavaliers now making a count for that it should be very effective versus those skirmishers it means some of the reinforcements oh so green is making a slow push forward of some pikemen skirmishers red is trying to stop the siege rams sign has a handful of his unique cavalry here And Green has a massive amount of traders. How much economy does he have? He's on top of the scoreboard. Uh, I guess he needs a bit more traders. They're actually at 34. So, hmm. If he were to change the destination from that one to one of these, he could probably double the amount of gold he gets. But he does have a very good queue of stuff, so he has reserves and replacements ready and going. Green also has 138 villagers. Maybe killing off some of them wouldn't be half bad. They can deploy a larger army. He definitely could probably take half his villagers off of wood and get rid of those. Magenta is starting to crumble. I think Team Southside is starting to crumble. Orange still has 10 villagers. He has plenty of wood. Yep, just poor economy management. He should have zero villagers collecting the wood right now with a float of 15,000. Yeah, those two do excellent work. We got some Connect on the field. There's Rider Connect, not even the Connect. So there's a good decent number of King of Swords in the field as well. at 29 villagers uh i think it's just sort of idle 29 villagers uh he's building more camels so he is not idle not trying to get more kind of buildings just trying to get out more military and yellow's still just doing excellent work overall i really wish those kill counter some of these units i think these janissaries all have decent kill rates Does Red still have those traitors? Yep. Fighting. Oh, Yell has some Hazars there. He may want to re reclaim. Now we've got, uh, is that a Kratos there? Yep, got a Kratos going up as well as some housing. 
Let's find the weak link in the housing. And the Janissary is going to be gunning down those villages, no problem. The Cray Post will not go up. More unique cavalry push way forward. I have a lot of targets in front of him. Target rich environment. And we got scouts to put up by the uh, Persian. And uh, Magenta's units are going down. Now the Janissary is on the fire. And that's the only Team Southside's primary army. Losing those Janissaries, probably game over. Who says castle? I don't know what that means. Green pinged over here. Oh, I ref uh, reference the science unit. Half the chance is pure went down. Still a decent number there, though. Now we've got the uh, trash crossbowman going on out. And now all these Hazards and New Cavalry now closing the Janissaries. They have to get into this choke point. They back themselves to the corner. It's not a bad spot for them. Oh, there's actually a hole there. They should not leave a pool, else there will be more of an opening. They cannot go, they cannot let the hole go through that hole. Uh, we'll see, they back out through there. The cavalry trying to get these crossbow now. Ray's now pulling out some more prey posts. And Green has sent resources to the person we're viewing, Blue. Magenta has cast in GG, Orange cast in GG. And now players have to resign. Both of them have resigned. Yellow has not yet resigned, but at that point. And, yep, I'm going to fast forward. People are not resigning. And that is the end of the replay. That was quite a slog. Let's take a look at the stats. Military, yeah, yellow did excellent. Overall, red did a great job. After losing everything, he did a great job supporting his teammate. Magenta did a great job of supporting the Portuguese, orange. But it felt like the orange Portuguese player really made bad decisions and crumpled, sort of crumpled after the initial aggression. Blue did a pretty good job supporting out uh, green, but I felt like green could have done a little bit better support out blue. They did an overall good job. Gray did a great job recovering, and Cyan could have helped out Gray a little bit better. But that's just my opinions based on what I've seen. And granted, I only have a small window to look through my own screen. Yeah. Actually, green got pretty close to that. Oh, no. It's still down by a thousand. Orange killed that little? Those orange guns just did not perform. I think it's because he didn't get the elite orange guns. I always feel like orange guns just don't perform as well as they should. They feel, they feel pretty weak with what they do. Highest unit lost, or lowest unit lost. That's because he didn't really build that many. <laughs> see economy yellow had a greatest amount of food since he had a more uh bizarre composition along with janissaries who did most of the work a very monotone army turks deploy on the field i really think Bra uh, Persians should have gotten for those trash crossbows much sooner orange had a little bit of stone collected not big spies federitas sent received orange did send quite a bit but, uh, science sent even more. Oh, wait, no. Well, look at that. Green sent 16, nearly 17,000. Okay, that's quite a bit. And Team Northside actually had trade. Team Southside 
The only bit of red trade we saw there, it was a pathetic attempt of trade, but that was the only trade setting Team Southside. So Team Southside knows that was trade. Another big issue there. And let's see, age is up. I am curious. Uh, players' population percentage. I can never really understand this graph all too well. Yep. Oh, either way, this ain't great saying. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.